Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take off the throttle position sensor of my 97 1100 Virago. Then we're gonna check it with the multimeter. We're gonna put it back, reset everything using a multimeter, which I recommend for you to get. Here's a video for my two recommendations. Uh, this situation can happen with you if you wanna clean your carburetor properly. I used an ultrasonic cleaner. Obviously, I didn't wanna put this in, so I removed it. Then I had to put it back on. It might happen with you. If you wanna check out how to clean a carburetor properly, I'm gonna put the video link up here. I'll see you after the intro. First of all, we're gonna have to take off this uh, dummy airbox. It's got a bolt on the bottom, a bolt over here. But first, we're gonna take the bolt out of the bottom and this just pops off, then pull it up. There you go. That easy. This is the throttle position sensor. To remove that, you need a Torx bit, but the one with the hole inside as a security one, I'm gonna make a picture. I'm gonna put it up, put it up right there. First of all, you need to disconnect it. <coughs> now that's done. Once you disconnected it, there is two ways to check it. You can either take it off, or you can check it in place. To quickly check the sensor to make sure it's okay, uh, when you connect your multimeter to the two outside wires, which is the blue and black and blue. Uh, you should get reading between 4000 and 6000 ohm mine is 5200 and there is another reading uh, you you need to check if you're just checking your throttle position sensor not removing it is uh, to check between the black and blue which is the right side and the yellow one which is the middle one so you're gonna have to take this off put it in the middle one right there and then just gonna take take this down to 2k and that will give you your idle position. Mine is set right at the moment, obviously, because the bike, is, the bike was running right. And just to check it, to make sure this is okay, all you gotta do is just turn your throttle and your ohm reading should go, resistance reading should go up as you're opening the throttle. Mine is on set to 2K, but it's going up to about four. So back to, seven, back to 20K and just keep opening it and it's 4,280 4, altogether. So basically this is how, it, how you see it to make sure it's working. So when you got the bolts out, just gently wiggle it out. It's got a seal, a rubber seal inside there. Just make sure you don't, you don't rip it out. It's got a rubber seal in there. And that's it, that's your throttle position sensor. Very expensive part, look after it. <laughs> So when you hook it up to the yellow one, which is the middle, and the black and blue, which is the right side one, then you get your idle position reading. After you've done your carburetor cleaning and you put it back, you just put these screws back in, just a little, little tight, no, nothing crazy, just so you can still move it. You, you can see the reading while I'm moving it. The reading changes, moving it up goes up to 900. I set mine to 2k because you're working under uh, 1000 ohm so you should be should be okay. Um, if you remember that number I said to you it was 5200 and you need to multiply that by 0 0.13 0 0.15 that will give you the lowest reading and the highest reading. In my case this is 677 ohm all the way up to 781 you want to set it in the middle somewhere so my nominal is 729 so this is what we're going to aim for today to get that number to 729 as close as possible while we're tightening up uh, also your idle screw on the bike should be set to your desired rpm which is about a thousand rpm on this one the two bolts are slightly loose so can, you can still turn it uh, black and blue yellow wire hooked up to the multimeter 2k let's set it to 729 724 that's pretty good so let's start tightening this up no need to be super crazy tight 726 that's pretty good give it a bit of a throttle movement 728 bang on 
and don't forget to put the connector back on <laughs> because you will probably notice it that's it right I'm not gonna show you how to put this back on it's just two bolts and then and then the cover is really straightforward all right guys thank you for watching like or dislike subscribe if you haven't already put that bell on so you don't miss anything coming up and i will see you in the next video bye